Hey guys, welcome back. What's up? Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. So for today, we are going to jump into the Ipsy Plus for the month of March. I got it on time. Um, and we're also going to be doing a try on in the same video. So it might be kind of a long video. Might be sure. I don't know. I don't know what will happen. But I did film a couple of videos that are not going to be uploaded. I was trying some new makeup. Like not a lot of new makeup. Like a couple products. I did my cream product look with some of my favorite cream products. And stuff like that. And I also filmed using this Falscara, this hyped up thing that's going around. They are not getting uploaded, point blank, they're just not. But if you want to know, this stuff is fucking amazing. I did not, I just got this, I did not get the lashes that come with it because I heard you could use it with your own. So I used it with these like dollar ones from their Broadway colors um, from Dollar General. It did work, but I also heard you could, like, use these and stuff, so I will be doing that. Not today, probably. I don't know. We'll see. But, I think it was one of those videos. I don't think it's any of the ones I have planned to be uploaded. I think it's the one, one of the ones that is not being uploaded that I mentioned this. So, I'm going to change it to this video because I don't... That video is not getting uploaded, and I'm pretty sure it was in that video, if any of this is making sense. So, in one of my videos that's not getting uploaded, I wanted to have a giveaway. Because my second BoxyCharm box came, <clears throat> the original box that got lost, and I'm giving away, there's five products in it. One went to my daughter, the brush set, and I was keeping one, the skincare product, but these three products are going into a giveaway with a few other good a bunch of other goodies and so there's a giveaway in this video you have to be 18 or older us only or a parent's permission i will leave everything in the description box but basically just give this video a like comment down below anything you want stuff about the products in today's video whatever you want and leave a way for me to contact you and share this video it really really helps me out and yes so let's get into it I am going to start by saying I am NOT a professional so if you don't like what you see when I do my makeup there is literally 50 billion other channels you could go to I'm not a professional okay let's get into it I think the video where I tried the aqua lashes isn't getting uploaded either. These are pretty fucking cool. I wish they had other styles. They only have like three styles and I don't really like any of them. But I cut them to make them accent ones and they're pretty cool. Thick band but really really cool. So this is the bag for this month. We got one like this last, last year in July. It was like a pool scene. It was like <clears throat> a bunch of ladies in bathing suits. So we've seen this before. This is actually a pretty nice bag though. It has like that wipeable inside material. I am going to try to find the useless card. So it's just the theme is stronger together. And there's nothing in it. So, so I'm sorry if it's dark. I am filming a lot later than I usually would. But I wanted to get my phone so I could share stuff. <laughs> I'm going to grab out my add-ons real quick. I'm pretty sure I only got two. Yeah, okay, so the first add-on I got was this two-pack of masks. They're the $3 add-ons. A tea tree pore care one and a bamboo water hydrating one. I love Ipsy masks because they're all these different Korean brands. Whenever there's masks, I actually have more on the way. 
when they're like five and three bucks for a couple of them i always get them love them great price and then the next thing i got i actually got one of these in like a 12 dollar set one time with a couple other products this is a three pack of the vintage cosmetics company makeup removing cloths i have the three pack of the cheetah ones i thought i had one near me but i don't they're the exact same ones they're just cheetah print and they work amazing and i paid three bucks for three of them so this is how big they are they i don't know if these ones are bigger my cheetah ones are maybe like a couple inches smaller maybe they shrunk in the dryer but these are amazing get three of them i need to wash these first um but the first couple times, like the first li literally two times you use them, they do shed a little bit, but after that, they work perfectly fine, and they are a great deal, so very happy with that. Okay, so let's get into the bo bag, box bag. The first item they chose for me is the Pixie Beauty Phenomenal Gel. It's like Phenom PH Phenomenal Gel. $24, 50 milliliters, which is 1.70 flow ounces. So it looks like this. It is sealed. As far as I can tell, there is no scent. This is a neutralizing moisturizer, soothing gel to balance and stabilize skin pH for all skin types. So, balancing a pH neutralizing moisturizing gel, moisture gel. $24. The next thing they chose for me is the shades by sean 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 the neutral edition nine pan eyeshadow palette it comes in one of these things okay it feels like really nice packaging so it's Shades by Sean X MBY Makeup Studio. So I don't know if it's a collaboration. Oh yeah. X Yoya. 25% of the proceeds of this collection will be going to the Mama Berries Nonprofit Foundation 51C3 to help single parents in needs in need. Well, that's amazing. It is $36. This neutral palette filled with nine wearable shades and an array of textures. Bold, matte to eye-catching shimmer. Ultra silky, easy blendable, richly pigmented. Shades by Sean donates a portion of proceeds from each purchase to the single parents in need through their Mama Berry's nonprofit foundation. So $36. It does have a mirror. These It looks like a ColourPop palette or a Kylie palette. I'm not going to judge it because I haven't used it yet. It sounds like a um, Kylie palette. Wifey, Dreamer, Hexed, Mommy, Self Made, Moxie, Foxy, Girl Boss, and Tees. So it's just a very neutral palette but in well-rounded neutral palette. It has a cream a tan brown cool tone brown a black let's these shimmers are really ooh. very very creamy Looks more like a charcoal, but I'm okay with that. Wow. 
Okay. So normally I wouldn't be excited about a neutral palette, but I am about to do another declutter and get rid of some items that I'm not using, I don't need, maybe have been used once. So it's time to go through my stuff and I think a nice neutral quick palette would be nice to have. <clears throat> my throat. I really want to swatch this one too. Ooh. That's pretty. Swatch the white. It's not truly a white. It's like a cream tone and that's very pigmented. Wow. Okay. So that was the last product that they chose for me. Now, the first product I chose was, they didn't have very many options. I got the Dip Brow Gel in Medium Brown from ABH, $20. That is what I have in my brows right now. And I will say this is legit a melted version of Dip Brow. It is extremely pigmented. You could literally like take the thing at stop brow and use it on a angled brush as your brow system. I do, when I use it, have to wipe a lot of it off to get that nice fluffiness because there is quite a bit on the brush and it is so pigmented that you don't want all that in your brows. Or you might, but... It does give just a nice, fluffy, pigmented effect. And I use a gel more than I use a, like, any other product or I use a ink stain pen. So I'm happy to have that. So the next thing I chose was $24. And I want you to look at this. This is the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Concealer in Shade. 08 light and I was like so excited to see this on here but then I saw the shades I had to choose from and I was like fuck I'm screwed there wasn't even like a shade light enough I could make it darker and there wasn't a dark enough shade to be like a cream contour bronzer so I chose this one I was like I can work with it it looks very orange right super orange here it is I get it and it's legit my exact shade. Like my perfect, perfect shade. It matches my skin tone perfectly. Like what the hell? I'm so happy though. I almost have a full face here. <laughs> and then the very last thing I chose. Like I said, there wasn't very much to choose from. But my husband loves these. I get the $2 ones from Walmart that come with like 36 of them. And this was free. So this has 39 patches in it. $17.99 full size. This is the Hero Cosmetics Mighty Patch Invisible Plus. It's one of those little circle stickers you put over pimples and it pulls out all the stuff. And they do work. They work very well. So happy to have it so now we are going to get into the try on portion because I do have stuff to do like I said I'm filming a lot later than I normally would so
I cleaned up under my eyes and added some primer to my skin to sink in. This is what the eye look is looking like. Very neutral for me. I did a little more than I wanted to. Like normally I'd keep this outer corner the same, put that matte white in the shade and then tap some sparkles over. This like topper shade right here called White Hex. It is beautiful. That's what's on the inner corner and I did have to like pack it on to get it that opaque but it is kind of more like a topper sparkly shade it's really pretty these are very creamy buildable smooth blendable shades like i've never heard of this brand but i want to know if they have like a pastel palette or a colorful palette love it and actually i don't want to know i i have ordered more shit than i should have so I'm going to go in with the Dose of Colors Meteor Hue Concealer in shade A. I will say I opened this when I first got it yesterday and I opened the cap and it was covered in product. There was a giant hole. I was like, what the fuck is going on? So I twisted it back on. I pushed down and when I pulled up, the stopper was in there, but it was like pushed up. So I had to push it down on the counter to make it go in. So the stopper came like off and it was funny. So this is in the shade 08 Light, and I heard this is like a concealer you don't have to set, which I am very happy with. This is insane how this is my perfect shade. This is like the best Dipsy I've ever gotten. Other than the palette being a little boring, I'm like extremely happy with it. And this concealer, I did use a hydrating primer. I would probably use a more hydrating primer next time but it's perfect a little bit drying but perfect i love it it's like it's a little bit dry on patches but i can easily fix that with a different primer so and it's like set i don't have to use powder this is the happiest day of my life <laughs> not really i have other ones i can do that with but you get it. I am going to do under my lashes real quick. Probably going to use a highlighter for under my, or my inner corner. Because there's not really a, um, light enough shade in here.
hundreds or four hundred. When we go to your kindergarten registration, you need to make sure you show them all that math that you know. Take 15 away from 100. Unless you're trying to get a negative number. No. Oh, 70 or 85. 85? Mm-hmm. How do you take 15? You would have to take 100 blocks from 15. Negative 85. No. What have you take? A hundred block from one hundred zero and one hundred minus one. Mm -hmm. What is it? Ninety-nine. One two minus a hundred. Eighty ninety-eight. Good job. Ninety-nine. You are so smart. 100 plus 100 is 200. One, 300 or 300. 100 threes or 300. And 100 fours or 400. And 100 and No, tens of. No. Ten hundred. No, that's a thousand, baby. Ten hundred is a million. 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 Ten hundred is a uh, you have to ask that. 109. Oh. How do you...
used the Nabla Major Pleasure Mascara, which I got on Etsy last month. The Essence Legendary Lip Liner and a clear gloss and a little bit of concealer in the middle of my lips because I couldn't help myself. I still don't know what I think of this mascara. I was happy to pick it when it was a choice because Allie Glines raves about it, but I still just don't know. But this is the finished look. I am highly impressed. My eyes are a little bit more warm toned than I would typically go for, but I love it. I think it looks beautiful. I can't wait to use this palette again and use it a different way. And yeah, so don't forget to enter the giveaway. Description box will have all the details. And I'm sorry this was another long one, but that's, I can't edit. I can't use technology. That's why most of my videos get deleted. And I film these really awesome makeup looks. Like one of the videos that got deleted, the makeup, the eye look I did was incredible. Like if I do say so myself. And because I can't edit or use technology, it got deleted. But hopefully this one makes it up because I really like it. Ipsy did a very good job this month. I hope it stays on this track. I would like a few more options to choose from, but and I know how I said BoxyCharm was my last month, the two boxes that I just received for February, but I am getting a March box. So whenever that comes, I will unbox it. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!